my channel just ash here thank you for coming back for another one of my videos and today's video i'll be sharing you my quarantine wash day routine it's a little bit extra as fuck i'm not gonna lie i added a couple more steps i think i have seven to eight steps in total and that's quite a lot for someone like me that tries to keep my hair regimen as simple as possible if you're curious to find out what are the seven steps in this wash day routine definitely stay tuned this wash day routine is definitely extra as fuck and that is because some of these steps i haven't done in years you guys know that i'd like to keep it quite simple i think my current wash day routine is like four steps in total so it goes by pretty quickly i'm not spending the whole day washing my hair and that's just how i like it but since i have a lot more time on my hands I thought, why not do what I used to do in the beginning of my hair journey where I had all these steps. I think it's seven steps in total today to complete my wash day routine. So the first step that I did was to do an overnight treatment. Yes, I haven't done an overnight treatment in years. So I was definitely, you know, a little bit antsy in the fact that I didn't want it to get all over my bed. You know how overnight treatments can be, but I don't sleep rough, so it's all good. The cap is still on my head. So I did that overnight treatment, which I also filmed. I'll leave the video link down below if you're interested in watching. Moving on to the second step, which is to shampoo. I decided to go with African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Detangling Shampoo. Like I mentioned on my quarantine chit chat video, I've been prolonging wash day, so I definitely feel like I'm gonna need a lot of help in detangling throughout my wash day session. So hopefully this does aid in detangling. Um, we shall see. So this is the shampoo that I'll be using. Again, this step is another step that I haven't done in years. This is step number three, which is a tea rinse that I also prepared the night that I applied my overnight treatment. That way it got time to marinate and cool down. So this is step number three. There's definitely great benefits into tea rinsing. So if you're interested in finding out the benefits, I'll leave a link on a website down below where you can read up on the benefits. But number one benefit is it helps reduce shedding. So I'll be using this tea rinse. Fourth step, I like to go in after the tea rinse and apply a rinse out conditioner. And I'm gonna need quite a lot of conditioner just to help with detangling. And the rinse out conditioner that I'll be using is a throwback and it's the VO5 formula. This is the new one. I hauled it on my updated hair product stash video. This one is the Pomegranate Bliss Plus Grapeseed Extract. Um, I'm super excited to use this. Hopefully I don't use it all up in this one wash day. The fifth step in this wash day routine is going to be then applying a hair mask. And this hair mask is the Pantene Gold Series. I did do a demo and review on this entire line. I will also leave that video link down below but I just have a little bit left to use up. So I thought to use it on today's wash day and it is a repairing mask that contains argan oil. So I'll be using this as my hair mask. The sixth step in this wash day is to definitely moisturize and seal your hair. And the moisturizer that I'll be using is this Garnier Whole Blends, their legendary olive. This, again, I have a little bit to use up, so I'll be using it up today to help moisturize my hair after my wash day. Last step, step number seven, is of course to style the hair, and I'm going to be flattening my hair. Um, since I'm so many weeks post relaxer, I don't know how many weeks I am off the top of my head. I'll leave it somewhere here in the video of how many weeks post relaxer I am. Since I won't be getting a relaxer anytime soon, I definitely want to keep my hair in a stretched out state. 
as much as possible so i will be flat ironing it that way it'll be more manageable and my hair gets very thick and it is very coarse so i'm deciding to flat iron my hair this go around on this wash day i don't know how often i'll be flat ironing my hair maybe once or twice a month until i can get a relaxer but that's just what so yeah that is my extra as fuck wash day routine definitely these products that i mentioned today on this video are definitely interchangeable for other products that i have but i strictly wanted to focus on more moisturizing products this go around and if i do change it i'll be sure to do another video if you guys want to see definitely thumbs up and comment down below as always thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one